Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Freddy Bonfa back with another amazing tutorial. And this time I want to tell you some little techniques about how to master client projects with Cinema 4D's Cloth Engine. There are actually one, two, three, four, five lessons, like a little mini series of tutorials with round about 100 minutes of content right now on my Patreon. But of course, here on YouTube, I also want to share some knowledge with you. Just be sure right now you have the option for a free seven days trial on my Patreon. So you can easily subscribe to my Patreon in the seven days trial option and then just for example watch all of these lessons okay so I think in seven days I think you should be able to go through the training of as I said around about 100 minutes but of course there is a lot of other cool content on my Patreon okay and right now as I said you have the option with the start free trial button to check out the premium content on Patreon for free so now I think it is also time to share with you something on YouTube. So I think I want to just go through some basics. Maybe we want to play with the cloth engine and for example, build this little box here for a bottle and put in some beautiful cloth with the amazing looking wrinkles. Okay, so let's just have some fun here. All right, and as I said, you also have the option to check out the full course on my Patreon in the try version right now. But let's also just have some fun here in Cinema 4D on YouTube. Okay, so I think we want to start with building this little box where we want to put our bottle into it. And by the way, if you just go to the content browser here, then you can, for example, just put a nice bottle into it. Of course, you could choose something like this vodka bottle, which looks pretty amazing. But of course, you can also be just a little bit more ridiculous and put, for example, like a little medication bottle into this little box. Okay, so maybe these are some really premium pills here you want to put into a bottle. So I think I want to go with the vodka bottle and let's just close the content browser here. Press R to rotate this one like 90 degrees. Okay, so this is good. Now let's make the box also smaller around it. For example, 20 by 20. Press F2 to go to the top view. Press C to make the rectangle editable. Then go to the points mode, grab a rectangle selection, grab these two points, move them up here here and just decide how big you want to have your box. For example, like this one, you can also press T to make it just a bit more wide here or more narrow. It's up to you. So I want to go with something like this one. That's totally fine. And of course, you can also press Control A to select all the points, right click and put some little chamfer on these points, for example, like this. OK, so just to make it a bit more friendly and not so hard edged here. Okay. Okay. Now I would say you just put this one into extrude object. This is a quite huge box here. So let's put this one to 10, for example. And let's say we want to press C to make this one editable. Get rid of the top piece here. Okay, this is good. I think now when you press D for extrude, we just drag a little bit, move this one in, for example, like this one. And just be sure to also create the outer caps here. So this one is also close from the outside. All right, just be sure about this. And now you would already have like a little box for your liquor, for your alcohol. OK, and then we can just put some cloth into this one. But let me just get rid of the world axis. It's a little bit annoying. So now I think you can just put a cloth into this one. This is way too big. Put this one to 10 by 10. Move it over here. Maybe just scale it up like this. F2 to see it from the top view. NA to see it the shading with the color. OK, you can't see so much here. So why don't we just put like a red material on a cloth piece so you can see this one better and B to see the lines. This will also be helpful. Um, let's say we want to fill it this one, make it really smooth and give it like 11 in the X or even 12 and maybe in the Z axis 40. I think this is good enough. And I think the height could be something like five. OK, NB to see the lines again. I just drag these numbers just a little bit higher. OK, to something like this. Let's also give it more subdivisions here. Let's do it like that. Now this is really super dense, but you can see these little points here, which are really ugly. So I don't like that. And when you inflate it with the cloth engine, this will look horrible. You get some ugly pinching here. So this is why I would 
let's say you just put this one into a remesher to get a clean mesh here that you can inflate and which looks just more elegant and beautiful. And I have to say it calculates a little bit longer because I went so high with the subdivisions. So I think let's be just a bit more precise here. Put this one for example to 40, 50 and for example 20 or 10 and maybe 120 here to get almost something like squares okay so now the remeshing should be way faster you can see the calculation here and it is done this is looking good press c to make this one editable now put this one out of the hierarchy select it go to object mode move it into your little box here i think the box is just a bit too high and this is why i select all of these points move them down something like this and now you can just put a cloth tag on the cloth piece that you want to inflate give the box around it something like a collider tag okay this is good let's press ctrl d to go to the settings of the simulation and the gravity is way too high so i just want to give this like minus 10 or even maybe even zero to be honest that could also look great put it here and maybe temporarily i want to disable the cloth simulation here go to my bottle all right the bottle is laying here you can move it up there as an initial state go to coordinates set some keyframes and then move it down in 40 frames for example just move it inside of the box so that it will collide with the cloth pc i think this is good let's do it like this okay nice and just to make this a little bit more easy let's delete all of the materials here for now and i have to say this is a terrible collider mesh here this will just won't be that good with the denser areas the super dense areas and not so dense areas so this is why i want to duplicate the bottle here make the original invisible put this one also into a remesher hold down alt to put it into the remesher let's wait for it a second and there you will have a better collision model it's not so beautiful here but i think we can live with this one let's just reduce the mesh density to maybe 40 okay this is good enough press c to make this one editable put it out of the hierarchy and put a collider tag on this one okay this is fine now i think we can make this one invisible show our beautiful bottle again and hopefully now now when we press play and also activate our cloth engine again hopefully this will look good let's just see this one okay and a to get rid of the lines it's a good start and i think it is really funny but this one is so weak okay so i think we need to put some pressure into this one so let's go to the balloon and maybe we want to give it an overpressure of three and also as always in all of the cloth tutorials you animate the target length up to get just more wrinkles all right so now you have the inflation which already looks quite beautiful like a little balloon in your box here but i want to also make the cloth in itself wider and give it more room for wrinkles <laughs> okay and there you go and this is already a good start i think we want to even go higher with the target length let's simulate this one more time you get all of these wrinkles here and you could pause it for example here now go to your cloth piece put this one into a subdivision surface to make it even more smooth and now you will already have something like a little gift box with the vodka in itself and this will look just amazing when you put more work into it put some beautiful shaders on it more cloth animation and just go through my tutorial mini series on patreon okay so just check this one out you already know that you can start the free trial here this will be more than enough time to check the tutorial and other than that i just want to wish you a beautiful great day subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell leave a comment if you liked the content and just feel amazing bye everyone